Welcome to today's video. Today's video, bat house maintenance. The bat house the surroundings need a little bit of trimming. So we've got this huge strangler fig wrapped around this cypress. And this, this fig, this has only grown like this in about 10 years. Did I think a bird pooped a seed or something and away it came. But anyway, we can't have a bat house that have tree branches touching. The poor bats have a really hard time getting in out of this thing. So we're gonna trim this up, make it nice and tidy in a friendly environment. I'm just gonna start off by getting rid of these low hanging branches so we can get in there and actually see what we gotta do because we gotta do some cutting. All right, we've got ourselves a Sunjo telescopic chainsaw, electric, because I hate two-stroke shit. I never buy anything two-stroke anymore. I'll either do electric or foresight. All right, we're just gonna go in here and make some room so we can get to the big limbs. The strangler fig is of the ficus family. And the reason why they call it the strangler fig, as you can see, we've got this pond cypress. And this fig is just wrapping itself around it. And it's not attaching itself to this tree. People say when you have a strangler fig, you gotta cut it because it sucks the life out of the host tree. That is not true. All it does is wrap its roots around it to support its weight. What happens is these strangler figs grow so freaking fast that they may end up killing the host tree because they block all of its sunlight. I mean, this pond cypress has been here when I bought this house 23 years ago. This strangler fig just showed up out of nowhere and this thing's only 10 years old, and it's massive. We're gonna cut it back. The strangler fig is a native tree to Florida. That's why you don't wanna mess with them. They live in harmony with everything else. That cypress is gonna be fine. You go out in the nature preserve, you find this all over the place. We're just gonna tidy it up. All right, we got this baby telescopic as much as we can, and we will start toward the bottom, work our way to the top. Timber! All right, let's clear some of this out. Lord have mercy. All right, we got a hole. We're gonna work our way up to that big one. I don't wanna smash my bird feeders, but if we smash them, we smash them. Put up new ones. Not too bad. Now for the mambo. Ain't so bad. Until you unplug the fucking saw. Everybody's probably thinking, well, how come you don't hook the cord into the handle notch for the extension cord? Because this extension cord is 12 gauge, because it's 100 feet long, and it won't fit. Bad house is free. However, the bird feeders eh, had some bad luck today. Although this one was already broken. A raccoon did this. I watched him jump out of a tree and land on this thing and just smash the crap out of it. I mean, I finished it off by breaking that ring. I, I finished it off by breaking this ring in half, but he already broke that big chunk out of it. And the poor pole, it's doomed. 
that's okay. I think those are six years old. They need to be replaced anyway. Everybody's happy now. The bat house is back out in the open. The bats are free to come and go as they please. Strangler fig, we pulled her back a little bit. The cypress tree is happy. Used to have lawn service. And I mark out here for the yard guys to watch out for all the cypress knees. And they just mow over all these things and chop these knees down to nothing. This poor cypress tree has seen more wounded knees than Gambino, Gotti, and Capone put together. Might as well just get rid of this guy, but we are gonna keep all the goodies on it. Wow, we can just put a new pole right up on top of that. Ain't no thing. Probably flip that over, straighten it out. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Recycle. Boy, look what I found in my garage. Bought this brand new back in the 80s. If I knew today's society was gonna be what it is, I'd have taken real good care of this and never ever used it. This is an antique, just like myself. You ever need a chainsaw for infrequent use? This Sun Joe does quite the job. I've used this several times. I mean, it's not industrial, but instead of using that pole saw with a blade on a pole, man, this makes work easy. Highly recommend it. It's got a tilting head as well. You can tilt it up to 45 degrees, I think. Uh, 30, you can tilt it 30. Nice little piece of equipment. If you have bat houses, please keep them maintained. Keep the foliage trimmed away from them. It allows the bats to get in and out easier. And it also keeps predators away from the bat house. A couple years ago, I had a hawk that would sit in these trees at dusk, just waiting to swoop on those things as they came out of the bat house. Well, cheers. With an icy cold Stella Artois, because holy shit, it's really hot. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Take care. See ya. Don't they know I'm filming over here? <laughs>